Well, when we when we think about shades of meaning, we have certain words that are positive or negative. Adela knows. Ah, okay, great, great. So a lot of words in English will have a positive meaning or a negative meaning, and we need to know how to use them appropriately. So we've got denotation, which is the literal meaning of a word, and then connotation, which are the feelings that we get from a word. And on Sunday, we'll look at all of that and learn how to use vocabulary appropriately. Yes, okay. So when we look at the word synonym, it can mean the same meaning, of course. Otherwise, a similar meaning, and that is where it gets very difficult. An example I give a lot of my students are these two words, nosy and curious nosy and curious. Nosy is very negative. It has a negative connotation, a negative feeling. It means that you want to know about people and what they do without really caring about the person. You just want information so you can talk about people. And then curious would mean to have an interest in people and to care about them, you know. You could say, oh, I'm very curious about you. You know, tell me about yourself. You cannot hear clearly. I think we are having problems with the, the connection. I am going to report the problem. I'm sorry about that. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm going to reschedule this class and I'm sure it will work out a lot better next time. At least for now we can do a little bit of listening practice together.